this short Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly generate an array or range full of random numbers. Let's get started. In previous tutorials, I've shown you how to use the rand function and the rand between function to generate random numbers. But what if you need not just one random number or 10 or 15 random numbers, but maybe a whole spreadsheet full of random numbers? Rand array is the function that you need. So I'm going to click here on cell A2 and I'm going to type equals rand array. You can see the hint from Excel. It returns an array of random numbers. I'll put in my left parenthesis and now we can see what Excel is expecting. How many rows? Let's say 100, comma. How many columns? How about 15, comma. What's the minimum number? I'll say the minimum number is 0 0.01, comma. What's the maximum number? Let's go with 1000, comma. And next, Excel wants me to specify whether these numbers will be integers or include decimals. So if I type the word false, that will mean that decimals will be included in these random numbers. If I put true, then all of the results will be integers. Let's try it both ways. And this time, I'll go with true. But before I do that, I'm noticing that there may be a problem. True is going to force the results to be integers. And yet, I put my minimum value as being a decimal. So just in case, I'm going to delete that out so that it's 0, not 0 0.01. And then I'll go back here to the end of the formula, and I'll type true. Alternatively, instead of typing it, I could double click on one of the two options that appears here. But I'll just stick with typing, and I'll tap enter on the keyboard, and look. I instantly get thousands of random numbers. 15 columns worth and 100 rows. It works just like magic. Now, if you watched my tutorials on rand and rand between, you know that these cells are not really populated with numbers. What I'm seeing here is simply the result of a formula, and that formula exists here in this cell. What would happen if I deleted one of these numbers? Notice what happened. It changed all of the other numbers. They all recalculated. So it's almost like these numbers aren't real. They're just projections coming from the formula in cell A2. So what if I wanted to turn these into real numbers, real data? I could highlight the data, just click and drag to select it, or select it another way. But once that array is selected, I can then copy it. Here on the Home tab in the Clipboard group, I can copy or just hold Control and tap C. But I've copied it, and then I'm going to once again select cell A2. And now I'm going to go up here again to the Clipboard group, but instead of pasting, I'm going to click here, and I'll choose Paste Values. Now if I click away from my data and tap Escape on the keyboard, let's see the results. If I go to cell A2, here in the formula bar, it shows me what's really in the cell. It's number 708. There's no formula there. What about this cell here? Again, there's no formula. It's the actual number. Now I'm going to jump to sheet number 2. I'll click here on the plus sign to get a second sheet. I want to do the same formula again, but with a slight change. I'll do rand array, left parenthesis, 100 rows, 15 columns, a minimum of 0, comma, a maximum of 1,000, comma. But this time, I'm going to allow for decimals. I'll just type in false. I should put in my right parenthesis and then tap enter on the keyboard, and I get a whole bunch of results. But as you can see, decimals are allowed. So that's the difference between using true or false in that last argument in your rand array formula. Again, if you delete any of the data other than the cell where the formula is stored, then the formula runs again and you get all new random numbers. I'm going to again select the entire array, and this time I'll just hold Control and tap C on the keyboard. And this time, instead of going up here and clicking to paste values only, Hold Control, Hold Alt, and tap V on the keyboard. That brings up the Paste Special options, and I can just select Values and click OK. Just like my previous example, if you click on individual cells, you can now see in the formula bar that the actual numbers do exist in these cells. It's not just a projection from the formula in cell A2. So I hope you find ways to use this Excel function, Rand Array. 
It's the fastest way to get a whole bunch of random numbers into your Excel spreadsheets. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video, or you could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch. And you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. 